You may be seated. And you passed the audition, I say. I preach now, right? I think so. Well, this has been a big day for all of us. Uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, we've been pointing to this day for a little bit of time now. And the whole season that, pre, you know, that precedes it, starting probably right from Thanksgiving all the way into the Christmas season, and then finally ending up with uh, New Year's uh, Day and New Year's Eve, is a time where our society attempts to come together in some sort of a way and recognize uh, the blessings that we have and how uh, our world uh, fits together in a way that attempts to uh, celebrate life and to share with others. And it's an important season. And in a lot of ways, this whole season is uh, uh, some of the atmospherics that are really created by the birth of Jesus and by the mission of his life. And we'll get into that more, but all of this starts to tie together. And during the Christmas season, of course, we have a variety of different ways of celebrating the birth. Uh, and there's no right way to do it, but in any event, we're here tonight, and it's a good thing that we are. Um, it's an important thing that we are. And no matter how exactly we see Christmas, one of the things that I think we all will tend to agree on is that it is a season that encourages the giving and receiving of gifts. That there's this notion, this interaction that takes place between people where we give and we receive and we celebrate the other's existence and we start to come together uh, recognizing that this is an important aspect of the season that we celebrate. Now, this giving and receiving that I'm talking about goes uh, and, and into a whole new direction when we think of the birth of Jesus. Because really, if we look at Jesus, if we look at his life, if we look at his birth, what we're talking about tonight is the birth of peace. Because it's his life that comes into the world and continues to extend God's greatest hope for humanity which is the sharing of peace. It's something that we celebrate tonight. It's something that we build up to tonight, but it's something that we hope for as a people that the sense of sharing the peace begins to become commonplace. It begins to be something we do and we experience each and every day. Because we are sacred. We are gifted, we are created, we have the capability within the life that we are living to be gracious and to be merciful and to celebrate the life that we've been given, to celebrate the faith that we've been given, to recognize that no matter what the challenges might be, there's something better always coming to us if we open our hearts and minds. There's nothing that can separate us from God's love. This baby grows up, this Jesus grows up, and he teaches the great shalom, the peace that surpasses all understanding, the idea that may I, may your life be as whole as my life. May I live every day of my life with this understanding in mind. May I learn to give and to receive. This is the way of Jesus. The challenge that we have, and, and we work on this and we do this and we come to church to, to, to try to remember it and to keep working on it, that it is about giving and receiving. This is the essence of life. But the challenge that we have is that each one of us are members of a group or of a type of a tribe, a group of people that have different types of expectations than maybe are expressed within the great peace. And we have to make decisions as to how do we experience life? 
How do we see heartache, disappointment, frustration? How do we handle greed? How do we handle oppression? How do we handle the life that we are living in such a way that we attempt to be God's hands and feet? People are afraid sometimes to step out in this. You know, over the last few weeks, we have looked at lessons that talk about people who are afraid. A couple weeks ago, of course, Mary was afraid when she was visited by the angel of the Lord who said, Mary, you're going to give birth to someone pretty special, to the Messiah. And don't be afraid. This is, this is out of the ordinary, what's going down. And I know your tribe will have some problems with this, but trust me, do not be afraid. God will be with you every step of the way. And then, last week, Joseph, angel of the Lord comes to Joseph. Joseph, listen, I understand we have some challenges here. The woman you are going to marry is with child. But trust me, do not be afraid. Stay with her, be with her, comfort her, keep her, protect her. Everything is going to be okay. Don't be afraid. And certainly tonight we have the shepherds out in the fields, about a mile away from uh, the manger scene. Uh, and, and they are greeted by the angel of the Lord. And they too are told, don't be afraid. Go tell the Holy Family what you have seen. And share that message with the world. Do not be afraid. You see, if we're honest with ourselves, if we live a life of proper self-examination, we will recognize that a lot of the times when we react in different ways to the challenge of giving and receiving love, it is usually connected to some sort of fear. There's something inside of us that is holding us back, that doesn't allow us to live a life of forgiveness of grace, of mercy, of compassion. There's something holding us back. And it's hard to fully understand, but as we examine this and attempt to point our feet in the direction of Jesus, things can start to open up. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid tonight to receive God's love. Don't be afraid to take new steps forward. Tonight, tonight we do celebrate the gift of peace. It's challenging, it's frightening, it's confusing, it's mystical, it's magical. It's not that linear, it's sloppy, but it's life, it's life. Don't hold so tightly, my friends. Open your hearts and minds. There is so much that God gives us today, tonight, and every day. So, as we think about this Christmas spirit, and we think about the gifts of life and the opportunity each one of us have to live a full life. Let us imagine the gifts that are under the tree this evening for each one of us. The boxes that we can open up and demonstrate God's love for the world. I invite you to open the box that calls for peace throughout the world, especially in Ukraine, and in Yemen, in Ethiopia, and in the Mexico drug rings, and in Afghanistan. Pray for this peace. Don't be afraid to open the gift of actual life 
recognizing that God is always coming directly to us, constantly coming to us. Our creator is coming to us 24 seven. Do we wish to open ourselves up to this force? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to open the gift that says, recognize your own needs, your own needs to give and your own needs to receive love. You cannot live this world alone. You are not self-sufficient. Independence is a lie. It does not exist. We are all interconnected. We need each other. Don't be afraid to receive love. And don't be afraid to give it. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to open this gift as well. A gift that says, may you find pain and suffering in this world. May you seek it, may you understand it, may you become aware of the fact that as comfortable as our lives may or may not be, there are a lot of challenges throughout the world that God is calling God's people into action. Recognize that God can only work through God's people. That God's people have a solemn obligation and responsibility to become aware of the pain and suffering that is in this world and to be challenged to take the next steps forward, whatever they may be. Don't be afraid, my brothers and sisters, to open your eyes and open your hearts and open your minds and open this box that says to us and asks us the question, how do my words and how do my actions affect others? Do I know? Do I know? Do I ask the question? Have I pondered my words and actions? How much so? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to open this box. May you live simply so that others might simply live. Out of abundance, we have this unique opportunity to calibrate the quality of our lives in such a way that allows us to extend extensively God's love. Out of abundance, we're invited to do this. Jesus always said to do this. For those who have much, much is expected. It's part of the grand design. Don't be afraid. It's going to be okay. Don't be afraid to open this box. To ask the question, do I need it or simply want it? How much do I need? How much do I want? Don't be afraid to open that gift of Christ Jesus and to follow him as you give birth, as you give birth to the world with your life, as you become God's hands and feet, as you become the light of the world every single day. Don't be afraid. Our Savior has been born. Merry Christmas.